Uh, I'll start with you here, Max. Is Eli done? It's impossible to say, but I, I, you know, because they have no offensive line, no running game, and Odell is not 100%, obviously. Um, so done, well, it's not impossible to say done. I don't think he's done, but it appears that he's in decline. 538 on ESPN.com has an article up there. I still think, I think, I believe it's still up there pretty pom prominently because it was posted a couple days ago about how profoundly mediocre Eli Manning has been as a quarterback. But we all know the eyeball test, not to mention the playoff stats, show that he's really good under pressure. He's really good in the two-minute offense. I don't know why they don't run that offense all the time, particularly when, you know, like slants and stuff and dink and dunk because – they have no offensive line. There's no time to get rid of the ball. So, you know, no one can run deep. How, how do you, you don't have time to run deep routes and you have no running game. So, I, I don't know why ex the offense looks exactly as it does. But given the structure of the offense, the lack of an offensive line, um, it, it's impossible to say that he's done. I, I would say he appears to be in decline. Though, again, at the end of that game, he marched him down the field pretty good. And it's not his fault that Brandon Marshall can't get separation, that uh, Ingram gets the, a great play by the safety, popping that ball loose. But still, he put it in Ingram's hands on his steps. And uh, that Odell then drops a pass. Wouldn't have been a first down anyway, but think about it. His three, three of his top four receiving targets drop the ball. He puts the ball where he needs to put it, and none of them can make a play on the ball at the end of that game. So when his receivers are less than perfect, given the O-line and lack of a running game, they're not going to be able to get it done. I don't mind Matt do holding Eli responsible. Um, you know, he's the most prominent player, or at least the quarterback, other than Odell, the most prominent player. And it's good. It's okay if the coach says, hey, you know, you got to get the ball snapped. I, I agree with that. And Eli has shown some inconsistency. But I still see with the game on the line when they need him most, a really good quarterback, in fact. Uh, but that's part of decline. You, the flashes of excellence get fewer and farther between. And, um, and, and maybe that's where Eli is right now because, as a Giants fan, I have not been happy with his play over the last year and now two games. I don't want to hear a damn thing about Eli Manning right now. He's not the problem. Uh, I don't care if there is a decline or whatever. It's going to be precipitated, Max, by the fact that you have no offensive line, that you have no running game worth speaking of, that you have receivers who can't gain separation. You got a guy in Brandon Marsh who dropping passes, and you have a defense that is just exhausted because they can't get off the field because their offense can give them little to no production. That's what this really comes down to. Certainly, there might be some slippage in the eyes of some people as it pertains to Eli Manning. They're going to point out how he's immobile. Last time I checked, that was always the case. They're going to talk about how, you know what, well, not in this case this year because he's only thrown a couple of interceptions, but if he was having an interception problem. is the same two-time champion that's led the league in interceptions on three separate occasions. And this is a guy that, despite all his years in the league and not missing any games in a decade, in more than a decade, he still hasn't thrown for 50,000 yards in his career. It's at 48 and change, like 48,600 plus yards in all his years, okay? And he hasn't completed 60% of his passes for his career. You know what his numbers are right now, Max? The guy yeah. is completing nearly 63% of his passes, 73% of his passes. Se nearly 73% of his passes. He's thrown one touchdown. He's thrown a couple of interceptions, but he's completed 72.9% of his passes, 51 of 70 attempts this man has completed. So what does that tell you? That tells you that, excuse me, he really has nobody to throw the ball to, and he certainly doesn't have anybody to run the football. They are the worst rushing attack in the National Football League, ranked dead last. They ranked 30th total offensively. Since McAdoo has taken over as the coach, they went from top 10 in offense in his two years as the coordinator, dropping to 25th the year he becomes the head coach, okay? They dropped to 25th, and that was the biggest reason why he got the job, because everybody said it's time to move on from Tom Coughlin because we got an offensive coordinator here who's liked and being pursued by other people. We want to exactly keep right. him in our camp. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of Tom Coughlin. We're going to talk about wholesale changes. We're going to talk about how a metamorphosis needs to take place. We're going to talk about how the Giants, a new era needs to begin. So we're going to get rid of Tom Coughlin. We're going to keep everybody else.
We're top 10 in offense. We can only get better in the two years that McAdoo was offensive coordinator. Now he's your head coach, and you plummet to 26. And he's going to go out there front and center two games into the season and disrespect his quarterback like that? I'm I don't not think saying, he disrespected well, him. Well, I don't I think, think he disrespected him. I think him. he did. I think he, he did, did, Max. Max, he had, the did man he had, the no, play? He had no protection. That was one play. You, ju you just heard the stats from Stephen A. And they, they should have. should have. But they should have accounted for the fact that he is getting older. If people do think he's going to decline. It's the same old story. They can't run the ball. They can't protect him. I they agree. Have no so let's line. talk about like that, the, Molly. The defense looked overrated, too.